having to walk away because and i give that example because I struggled with the idea of is this going to look like I'm quitting and I have all these kids message me every day they're emailing me and they're looking up to you and I don't want to be someone that quits on them so even the way I had to frame my retirement letter I had to make it clear that uh, you know can I play five six more years yes I can but I don't think I'll be able to do my body justice and taking injections and painkillers before every game just isn't yeah. worth my health and so there was, there was that so the mental toughness aspect of it for me was having to become to a place where I had to accept that some of the dreams I had weren't going to happen um, to win an MLS Cup for example um, mm-hmm. to be an MLS best 11 player whatever that was wasn't going to happen and could I still be a content at peace human being in spite of that and that's when I kind of began to see that football's great but life is more important it goes beyond that and I, when I retired I set my goal was to learn to be happy and that just came from an idea of playing football easy to be happy for me i love the ball at my feet it's what i do every day can i learn to be happy without that in my life and mentally that's a challenge or physically coming back from an injury is tough physically walking away from the game can be tough but mentally doing both of those things is even tougher and i would say the mental aspect of it has been the challenge for me and i'm still learning what it means to kind of be happy and to grow from that but i'd say i'm in a very good place right now